So I finally got around to building a wooden strutted dome. Took me a while, but then again, the weather hasn't exactly been very cooperative here in Wisconsin. So I have two domes, one inside of the other. I played around with some of the connectors on the smaller dome. You can see the rings on the inside. Um, I tried that just to see if it would work and it's, it seems to work just as well. It, it helps building the dome. The white rings are used to keep the struts from pulling out of the spokes as I build it. And uh, they're, they're difficult to get the, the zip ties underneath and around when they're on the plug. As you can see, right here. It's an example of how I usually do it, where the ring is over the plug, and you know, if those break or if there are already four or five on there, uh, it gets pretty tight and it's hard to get them on. So I tried with the ring on the other side and worked pretty well. A little bit easier. Can't say uh, that's how I'm gonna continue to build them, but either way, I did some experimenting with the PVC and the normal uh, way of building it. With the wooden struts, I actually used a, a nail gun for the majority of the hubs. Some of them actually used a hand stapler, heavy duty. Uh, that worked well. Again, the only reason for the staples is to keep the struts from pulling out um, as I'm building it. I'm still using the zip ties, that seems to work, um, but this way of building doesn't require the rings, which is nice. And as you can see here, this is pretty cheap lumber. This is, um, these are just furring strips, so it cost me about a buck for an eight foot length of wood and most of it I picked out, it was straight, but you can see here this stuff after I cut it bent up pretty good, but I was still able to use it. These, these hubs have a lot of give to them and um, able to use uh, the furring strips. So there you go. Thanks to those who have subscribed and I appreciate the comments in the previous videos. Keep them coming. Thanks.